here we go, three weeks to go. It's Tuesday. It's a rest day after yesterday's, after Sunday's 20 miles. That was a tough run. That was me saying, doesn't sound so bad, only 20 miles. It kicked my ass, to be honest. Five miles warm up, easy. Five miles marathon pace, all good. One mile harder, a push, but okay. Then get into the next block of five miles, marathon pace, and they started getting tough. Started getting really tough. It was a real battle of mind over matter because at two miles into that second block of five, I said to myself, sod it, I'll just do three miles of this block and I'll can it. And then at four miles I said, I'll just do one more. I'll do the five miles, then I'll stop. So yeah, I said to myself, I won't even attempt the second quicker mile, mile 17. But when I got there, I thought, just give it some. You can always pull out of the mile halfway through or try three minutes is better than nothing. And I had to absolutely turn myself inside out to do it. And it wasn't as quick as I'd like, but my legs are done, honestly. It's been such a big marathon block. That was like the last big week and my legs are toast. But here we go, it's a fresh week, three weeks to go chasing those goals. We're really close now. So yeah, this week we've got uh, six miles easy now, then a nice sort of progressive effort block. 10 minutes, four by three minutes, four by one minute tomorrow. Then 10 miles easy. And then this weekend, I'm pacing the 155 train at Hackney Half Marathon. Can't wait to do that. Taking the van down, staying overnight, and pacing with a flag on my back. That'll be cool, looking forward to that. So Sunday's run was a 7.30 start, two hours, 40 minutes, finished at like 10 past 10 or something. All day I knew I was gonna do it in the evening. I know a lot of people say I'm mad running that late in the day. You know, get up early and do it. But sometimes it's just what works for me. And it's also about my recovery. So I had a hard half marathon effort session on Friday night. And if I'd run early Sunday morning, that would have been 36 hours recovery, which isn't, you know, I can, I'm not gonna say it's not a lot, it's loads. But if I wait till the evening, it's 48 hours recovery. So that's what I chose to do. Had a fairly gentle day Sunday, but by the time it came around to do the run, I was really well fueled up. I was wide awake. You know, I've been resting most of the day. I was able to really give it some. I was psyched up because I'd thought about it all day. I thought about the paces I was gonna run. Sometimes if I run too early, I'm not awake enough for it to be honest. I'm just not awake enough. I need an extra few hours just to get my head in the right place. But yeah, solid, solid week last week. Just a shame it's all in the dark. But this week, we're getting close now, so it's real battle to schedule sessions in, fit them around, all my other commitments. But you can't go into these things half-hearted, can you? If you want a PB, you gotta be consistent. Everyone, every week. No excuses. Find a way to get it done. Not just do half your runs, drop a few days. Oh, it's raining, I won't go today. In my head, you gotta be all in, 100%. And then there's no excuses on race day. Okay, so today's session, middle of the week, uh, two mile warm up, 10 minutes, 6.49 threshold pace. Uh, three by three minutes at 6.33, which is maybe a little bit quicker than current 10K pace-ish. And then four by one minutes at 6.16 pace, potentially around 
maybe a bit quicker than 5k pace so fish old 10k 5k progressive short session should total about eight miles mile and a half cool down can't wait to get into it and all going well home in time for the football so harvest in full flow a rare opportunity to get out in the sunshine legs are exhausted I don't know why they're so sluggish feels like my hips aren't working so this first 10 minute block threshold pace is going to be interesting but is what it is each section should be should be doable and just opening up the speed and the effort a bit more as we go through so 10 minute out three minute out three by three minutes no two by three minutes four by one minute back so out and back should be good so I've been fairly tough on myself the last few um, blocks of effort I've had to do quite negative giving myself a hard time building it up to be more than it is so today I'm trying to be positive I can do 10 minutes for 6.49 positive mindset let's give this a try I can do it I can do it I can do it 10 minutes threshold pace not done it for quite a few weeks so it could be interesting but we are 0.1 of a mile away from a nice little bit of threshold let's get into it that's the warm up almost done now let's see how we go okay 10 minutes 6.49 let's go that's the 10 minute block finished uh, average about 6.47 tough mind but managed it now it's 3 by 3 minutes 6.33 4 by 1 minutes 6.16 but that's definitely the worst bit done 10 minute block so much harder than 3 by 3 minute blocks I'll say that now we'll see <clears throat> first 3 minute block done I think it was about 6.30 maybe 6.31 average pretty good happy with that hard but not crazy hard obviously hard it's the fastest you can run for three minutes difficult to find these limits but I'm bang on pace I've got two more to do so hopefully I can do the same again on this one and then just hang on for number three then we're down to the minute efforts after that oh it's nice to do a bit of speed one thing I'm missing is short fast speed efforts which I'll get back into after this marathon to start building up speed for the next challenge sub 90 minute half marathon in February at the moment that is unless something crops up sooner over Christmas maybe we'll see but that's the next thing I've I've done 130 and 12 frustrating session seconds so sub 130 for a half is definitely needed if you want to do a sub three hour marathon really I need to be 125 got to go again second one coming up let's go so that's the three by three minutes 633 finished I think I did 631 632 632 some chefty bits with that three minutes of that effort I start off the first minute the first 40 seconds maybe too quick about two tw about 620 and then ease back and suddenly it says 634 and you have to push a bit but it's good get back to the pace just in time for the end and just hold it one second under right to the end so now we've got four by one minute 616 pace which going on the first 40 seconds of 
those three minute blocks should be okay should be doable although the first effort first effort of course I'm starting off with a hill gotta love it hill to start off with it's only a minute though how, how bad can it be here we go 30 seconds time it's the last one minute we've all been about 607 68 610 so far this is the last one mild cool down and home for dinner and football <sighs> gotta love getting a session done in the sunshine this time of year it's awesome here we go three last one done oh I didn't look at my watch then until the very end until the five second alert started bleeping I was about 6.02 just gave it everything on the last one <sighs> happy with that really happy with how that's gone you know set out at the beginning worried again by this session tell myself I can do it all the way through telling myself I can do it and I hit all beat every section Oh, chuffed a bit with that. Good job. Okay, we are here, Hackney Half. Going across to the pacing tent to pick up my 155 flag. See you in a bit. Still come forward. There's so many of you. We're all set. We're all ready don't to go. Be shy, don't be shy. You'll meet someone Fabulous really atmosphere. Knows. Just watch out. Thousands enough of people space here. In between. All set to go. Just going to go and get a drink from a water tent somewhere. Go over to the kit. That is the motto. Right now. Do us some kits. Outrunners in the house, make some noise. Hey. Alright, so we're going to test that balance again. Everyone's getting the warming up going. And this time, lovely day for us today. That was serious change. You're really Fairly cool. I could do, just do with finding a loo before the start, but the queues are massive. You forget about these things when, when there's no races on, but the queues are huge. We'll be alright. Okay, just moving up to the start pen now. A few flags in there already, I can see the 145s, the 150, it must be a little bit further back than that. Last question everybody, 400 metres to go. Good job, well done. <laughs> oh, I see you, my G security guy. Come on, big push. What an awesome event that was. Massive, massive event. Not seen one of these for a couple of years, but really well organised. A bit like a mini London marathon, really. Uh, 155 was the target and finished 154 08 I think so a little bit inside Garmin was playing up here and there but comfortably inside had quite a few people who came through with us which is really nice lots of fist bumps at the end for people who got PBs love that and a great race event village here afterwards so I've got to try and squeeze in a couple of mile cool down now just to make up for long run distance Oh, and it's a great so get rid of this flag. 10 miles per hour. Please, I've seen nothing like it. Okay. And I'll see you in a bit. So I've just moved about half a mile or so down the road from the race village just to do a bit of a cool down. So just a couple of miles, easy cool down, and we're off.
get the legs moving again so yeah really lovely event that was really enjoyed that being back in a mass participation event um, huge huge numbers running very much like the London Marathon really awesome awesome thing to be part of pacing is a, is a great way to be involved in runs to incorporate your training into um, still running organized events you know just because it's a race you don't need to smash it really hard so I always often to pace at paces that I would do for a you know part of my training run so that was like an easy pace run but obviously it's quite stressful because you've got to be bang on the on the money and you're carrying a big flag as well but great to be part of easy cool down now leg felt fine Manchester in two weeks so I'm just running around a couple of football pitches to do my cool down someone just tried to nick my bag I'd have been disappointed sweaty t-shirt and heart rate monitor and a can of water left my bag here someone tried to nick it and gave him a whistle told him to clear off and they soon fled into the bushes God, you can't trust anyone, can you? <laughs>